Hi, my name is Tymon McPherson. My, I'm an assistant professor of urban ecology at the New School in New York, and I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about uh, urban ecology. Urban ecology is a response to the combined pressures of population growth, rapidly expanding urbanization, and global environmental change. To understand how to manage ecosystems sustainably, we need to really understand the dynamic feedbacks between humans and other components within urbanized systems. Now, urban ecology as a field is relatively young. Uh, it's grown out of 150 years of traditional ecology. The ecology discipline, um, as a scientific discipline, has really taken an approach that is historically focused on pristine, natural environments where humans were viewed as outside the system. So if this circle describes the boundaries of an ecosystem, then humans were here, not part of internal dynamics of the system. Urban ecology, in contrast, focuses ex explicitly on human-dominated landscapes and, and urbanized regions. And in urban ecology, we intentionally focus on humans as fundamental elements within the system. So we move humans here, inside the system. We intentionally inc include humans as fundamental components and interacting elements within the system. And in this way, we can study them the same way we would any other kind of component, like plants, animals, fungi, or abiotic elements of systems. Now, we have two principal approaches in urban ecology. The first we can call ecology in cities. And by cities, we also mean uh, urban regions and urban complexes. And this initial approach is one where we apply traditional ecology methods to urban systems. So this is um, an an approach where, say, we may study the interactions between uh, urban soils and how they affect plant community structure and function, but in the context of a city. Or it may be um, looking at uh, ecological succession in an urban vacant lot, but still relatively traditional ecology. Now, urban um, ecology also has another approach, uh, and this is the one that I think is allowing us to do a lot of really new things in terms of cities. This we can call ecology of cities. Now, this, this second approach within urban ecology is something entirely different. Here, urban ecology takes a systems approach to the study of urban socio-ecological systems, and we look at the combined interactions between three interacting components. The social, the built, and the biophysical. This systems approach views the city as an urban system. And it takes systems thinking to focus not so much on what's happening within a particular component, as we describe in the ecology in cities, but rather the ecology of the entire city as an ecosystem. In this view, the city is an ecosystem. And by taking a systems approach, we can use socio-ecological systems to focus on the dynamic feedbacks between interacting components in the system. Now, this view does something different for us. This allows us to understand the processes and the patterns that we see of the entire system. And in doing that, we can measure the resilience of the system, and we can uh, understand whether or not the system can be sustainably managed or how to improve that kind of management. So the goal here is to use this socio-ecological systems approach to drive a new theory of cities, a theory of cities that we drive with empirical data, with empirical study, focusing on the dynamic feedbacks between interacting components that include humans as drivers in these systems. And this new information and new tools that are being developed can help us to better design policy, plans, uh, and new kinds of uh, restoration and changes and transformations within urban systems to make them more resilient and more sustainable. Thank you.